This is Spiderbite for NextGenTactics.com, and this is Countdown Offense. Most of the time we'll rush A. Um, this happens to be our first example. I'll do this uh, sometimes if um, we were basically up 3-0 on defense, and we lost two in a row on offense. And uh, it was mainly because we're getting bombarded by frags. Uh, they're rushing. Uh, they don't seem to be on this uh, on this round, but uh, generally they were. So when that happens, if we lose two in a row on offense like this, I will generally dig in um, in this hangar, plant some claymores, take up a position, whether back here or on the opposite side, and you'll see as we uh, fire off, because we have a red dot, we don't have a silencer, uh, we change positions after we, uh, we fire every time. So we got a few teammates, a couple teammates left. So we kill the guy up front and immediately move over to the other side of the hangar. I mean, if they're nearby, they'll, um, you know, they'll, they'll fire at our last position where we fired from. So we switch back. Um, obviously, if they're further away on the map, they're not going to uh, generally know exactly where we are. So you see another guy out there. So again, we're just trying to pick them off one by one, and hopefully we can get them to come in and, and uh, trip on our claymores. Now this is a bit of a camping, and, and you can't stay here forever. I mean, obviously we're on, we're on offense, we have to go grab the bomb. I mean, if they just sit back, they can let the timer run out. We can't do that. We have to get the, the bomb at some point. And obviously they know we're dug in here. So there's two left. We gotta start making our move now. And we're just scanning. And we see one back there. So throw a stun. We hit him. There he is. Throw a frag. Okay, one left. Now we gotta get in there. Actually, there are two left. One left now. Okay, we got the bomb planted, and now we uh, we camp out the target. So the guy's moving around near their spawn. Not sure why he waited so long to use his UAV, and our teammate finishes him off. Okay, here's a, a better example of a rushed A. Most of the time we'll do rush, uh, A rushes. Try and throw a stun right at the front because timing wise enemies can come, uh, can be coming in there just as we're coming out of the other, other hangar. They can be nearing the front. This claymore position at the back, this claymore position is golden. Okay, I mentioned this in Crash. There, there are a few maps where you can have golden positions for some claymores and this is one of them right at this back area and you'll see it both on offense and defense for countdown okay I don't know how many times this claymore has saved my ass and gotten me kills but uh, you'll see a few examples on this uh, like I said on this uh, tutorial as well as on the defensive tutorial okay yay we're the last one so we're just waiting because we know they'll like to come looking for us and we can hear lots of movement. Don't want to tip them off yet. Okay, so there's the one guy. Come and finish him. There's a the claymore. Boom. Perfect. And we nail the last guy. Okay, so here's another A rush. Not sure where our teammate is going with the bomb. Um, I kind of hate it when snipers get the bomb. I mean, I know it happens a lot of times accidentally, but a lot of times, I don't know, even if you're sniping, like if you're sniping and you get the bomb, well, he's coming now, but uh, a lot of times guys will just stay at the spawn and snipe and snipe and then end up getting killed, leaving the bomb, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, basically, which kind of sucks. Um, just a piece of advice. If you're a sniper and you accidentally get the bomb, you know, don't stick to what you were going to do and snipe in the middle of the map. At least progress it to one of the targets. Help your team out. 
So we got a UAV, but we're not going to use it. And there's the last guy. That's a typical spot. You got to watch out for that when you're um, either trying to defuse or you're camping the target once you've planted the bomb. And we have a bit of a fight here. I get him in the end. Okay, another A rush. Again, you want to throw that stun towards the front of the hangar. And then uh, we're going to plant a claymore at the front. And our teammates are... Uh, we catch a guy right at the front. Our teammates are saying, rush, rush. But as you'll see, I'm probably going to be the last one left again. There's our claymore again. Priceless claymore, I'm telling you. Seriously. <laughs> the best is on uh, one of the defensive rounds. You're going to love it. Okay, so... I kind of run out here. I, I don't know. I got a little antsy. Um, I know there was at least one guy over at A. There's two left. I think both of them are over at A. And uh, my teammate was over by the spawn. I think he was sniping. So we're going to rush to B. We know they're at A. We're rushing to B and we're going to plant it as fast as we can. Again, you'll notice when I plant, most of the time I'll always angle the... the the briefcase so that I can see like right there I can see the front of the hangar it's actually easier in World at War um, because the bomb is so much smaller uh, but with the briefcase it takes up freaking 90% of the stupid screen but you can still angle it so that you can see you know out the side door out the front door and I don't know why that guy's firing maybe he's trying to see if I'm at the spot but <laughs> It's the noob mistake there. They both run in the same time, looking at the same spot. Uh, I mean, the best was in my World at War uh, Asylum uh, offense video, where I caught like four of them. Or all five of them were running in like that. But yeah, two of them running in the same time, the same way, looking at the same spot, and I catch them easily. So here's sort of a B-Rush plant. Plant our claymores first. I mean, generally speaking, on this map, not a lot of people go to B on defense. Um, so a lot of times, in a lot of cases, you can walk right in. Especially if you previously have gone to A, you know, the past two rounds, and you've rushed planet A. Uh, you sort of catch them off guard by going to B. I don't know. I guess we weren't close enough to that guy with the frag. We do have a guy on the left side, so that's why we're not worried about the left side entrance. Now we get stunned here, so we're gonna just point our gun towards this way, just in case somebody comes around the corner here. Wow, man! Oh, that there. Teammate uh, helps us quite a bit there. Okay, here's the last round. Another A rush. Again, like I said. Most of the time we'll go to A, quickly. Sometimes you get sniped, sometimes you'll eat a frag. I mean, if you do on the first round, then you need to change it up. Hold back a little bit. So there's the front claymore, and then here's the, the priceless claymore. So we get a kill off the front, and we're going to plant. So there are two other two teammates that are back at the spawn, so we don't really have support in here. I got so they're likely going to come from the front. I don't think they've gone around and flanked and will come in on the left side. Hopefully not, anyway. So our two teammates get it. They have UAV. We got that lucky uh, grenade. There's a guy coming in the front. And watch the claymore. Boom. And we can finish him off easily. One guy left, he's out off to the side. So we go behind the boxes to help us out there. Nice fighter, nice. And we win the game. Hope you liked it. For nextgentactics.com, Spider Bite Out.